I'd like to introduce our case, Susan. She's a 42-year-old female from a small northern community called Fort St. James. While working as a care aide, she had injured her back about three years ago, and in combination with her diagnosis of fibromyalgia, she was unable to work. She's currently on long-term disability. She was healthy until about her 30s, and then about eight years ago, she was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome. About five years ago, while working, she had injured her left rotator cuff, and the MRI was inconclusive, but it resulted in her being unable to work for about a month. And again, three years ago, she'd, she'd injured her back, uh, which kind of was a catalyst to her being off work for this time period. She's the oldest of three children. She was the primary caregiver of her mom, who suffered from chronic pain as well, and, and died recently. She feels a bit burnt out. She's always cared for others, but and so the death hit her really hard. Her father was in the logging industry, and he died about 10 years ago. They described their relationship as it was a complicated relationship. She's been married for about 10 years. She's got two children, a nine-year-old daughter, a seven-year-old son. Her husband works at a local sawmill. And uh, as a result of her not being able to work, they've been experiencing some financial challenges. They've been having some marital problems as a result. Her husband is the sole earner. He is supportive, but, but the reduced intimacy, he, he is, he's finding it challenging. She feels isolated. She doesn't really have any activities that she likes to do, and she really struggles to keep up with home life. She's friendly with mothers but she doesn't really have any close friends and, and, and one of the reasons is she is fearful of activity. She's scared of increasing her pain. On good days, she tends to do household chores and has difficulty stopping. It's just because she feels she needs to get them done and, and long sitting and standing, she does find uncomfortable and painful. Her mother-in-law lives in the same community. She comes over regularly and helps often. She organizes dinner. She does things with her grandchildren. The kids are generally okay. They are able to get themselves ready for school. They can make their own lunches, but usually after school, that's when they overwhelm Susan. They have some emotional demands, such as when kids are fighting. And, and even though she feels the most important accomplishment, her accomplishment was raising her children, she does feel a bit of a loss of control, and she wished that she could have more quality time. She no longer sees her family physician. She often forgets appointments or she was billed for missed appointments that weren't cancelled. The doc didn't understand her and so she went and found another family doctor. From a spiritual side, she did used to go to the Baptist church but, but actually stopped after her father died. She does enjoy playing the guitar and walking and she has recently been referred to the Vancouver Chronic Pain Management Center. From her assessment in Vancouver, it was revealed that Susan had little understanding of chronic pain or her diagnosis of fibromyalgia, and she had significant fears around doing further harm when her pain escalated. She was also fearful of taking her medications as she hadn't taken meds in the past, but she was afraid to stop them as her pain increased when she tried to reduce medications. She had a non-restorative sleep pattern and she not only had difficulty getting to sleep but she woke up often during the night. As a result she had a tendency to nap for long periods during the day. She drank two to three cans of pop in the evening and watched TV in her bedroom at night. The physician determined there were no primary sleep abnormalities such as sleep apnea. From the physical assessment, it was evident that Susan's walking, standing tolerances were reduced. Her pain escalated and her walking mechanics deteriorated after about four and a half minutes on the six minute walk test. In her shoulder, she had limited range of motion and there was some weakness. Uh, but there was no uh, pain on resisted isometric move. The back examination did not reproduce any physical signs for Susan's back pain and seemed related to muscle strain that occurred three years prior. Susan had always loved playing guitar and walking was her favorite form of exercise. Now her shoulder pain interfered with her ability to play guitar and whenever she walked her pain increased. She fatigued with activity and this interfered with her ability to play with her children and socialize with friends. With her family and the team, Susan determined that her goals were to improve the quality and quantity of her sleep at night and have more energy, to have better control over her pain so she could become re-involved with family, social and leisure activities, 
and to be able to enjoy her time with others and others would enjoy spending time with her. She wanted to improve her physical ability, such as resuming to play the guitar and going for daily walks and managing housework. Susan also stated that in the future, she would really like to be able to contribute to family income again. <laughs>